Hi, I'm Pastor Dean Hemphill, and you're watching 10 Minutes of Truth. Have you ever thought about what one man can do? In our thinking process, we would think maybe one man cannot do much. But today, for a few minutes, I'm going to teach on the subject of one man, what one man can do. I want to go back a long ways ago, many years ago, to what one man did. I'm going to read from Romans 5 and verse 12. It says, Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world. One man. That man was Adam. God says through Paul, Romans 5, 12, that through that one man sin entered into the world. We know from the book of Genesis what happened. Well, he broke the commandment that God had given him and took from his wife the fruit that was forbidden and they died spiritually. Even though he lived 930 more years in the physical realm, on that day he died spiritually. One man really messed the whole world up. The plan that God had made for perfection in the Garden of Eden it's all destroyed by one man. Not many people, not a committee, not a group of people. One man. Let's read more. And death by sin. So death passed upon all men, for all have sinned. Now we, we have here ourselves included. Not just the one man, Adam, but now death passed upon all of us, because we have now the sin nature because of what Adam done wrong. And it says, for all have sinned and death is passed upon all men, all of us. We die today because of what Adam done as one man. You see, God gave that one man a choice. He put in that garden one tree that was forbidden. All the other trees he could freely have, a place of perfection. You see, God gave man a choice. He didn't make a robot, he made a man and gave man a choice. And through that one man, Adam, the whole world's in chaos today after all these thousands and thousands of years. But the one man, Romans 5, 17, let's read. If by one man's offense, offense may sin or error, death reign by one. Much more, they which receive abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one. Here we go, Jesus Christ. Now we got another man. The Bible calls him the last Adam. You got the first Adam, Adam himself. The last Adam is Jesus Christ. One man. Not a group of angels or any other person, the one man, Jesus. He comes to the earth some 2,000 years ago, and he'll put back together what the one man, Adam, tore apart. One man, both times, have done it. In verse 19, Romans 5, For as by one man's disobedience, many were made sinners. That's the one man, Adam. And through his disobedience, you and I were made sinners. We were born in sin, conceived in sin. We have a sin nature today that never goes away from us because of one man's disobedience. Now it says, so by the obedience of one, that's Jesus Christ, shall many be made righteous. We were made sinners by one man's disobedience, and that was Adam. We can be made righteous through one man's obedience, and that's Jesus Christ. He come to the earth and accomplished something no one else could do. The Son of God, a perfect person who never sinned. Through his obedience, if you receive him as Lord and Savior, you're made righteous through that one man. We don't have two ways to heaven. We don't have two men out here to choose from. We don't have three doors to pick. John 10, 9, I love the verse. Jesus says, I am the door. 
I'm the one person. So today, for you to have righteousness, you have to select that one man. Not Mother Mary, not Simon Peter, not Dean Hemphill, nor anyone else. All of those I've named did not fix the problem. Jesus Christ fixed the problem. He gave himself a sacrifice to God. He satisfied God. And through his complete obedience as one man on the cross, he paid the sin debt for all the world. And he says it is finished. He done it right. He done it completely. And everything is before God now satisfied as his sacrifice. One man, Adam. One man, Jesus. The first Adam. The last Adam. And today we have in the day of grace in this world, not the law, we have the grace of God to receive Jesus Christ in our heart by faith. Receive Him as Lord and Savior. And through that one man, have the greatest life anyone could have. Abraham could not have done this, or neither Moses, Elijah, or anyone else, because they were also sinners. But Jesus Christ, born of a virgin, God being His Father, didn't have the sin nature. He lived a perfect, sinless life for some 33 and a half years. And that one man was falsely accused. That one man was tried. And that one man carried to Calvary, Golgotha's Hill. And that one man gave his life for the whole world. That one man. And one of these days, all of God's people, every Christian, will put our eyes on that one man. We'll behold his scars in his body. We'll look into his face, and for eternity, we'll give him praise and glory and honor what he done for us in this world that no one else could do. So today, I want to ask you, have you received that one man as Lord and Savior? Turn your heart to God today. Let him fix in your life what Adam disobedience to all the pieces. Let him be in your life, Lord and Savior. Until next time in Clark's Chapel Baptist Church, God bless you. Please check us out, ClarksChapelChurch.com, Facebook Live each week, YouTube, Clark's Chapel TV. Check us out. Send us a message. Until next time, have a great week in the Lord.